right, let's take a look at this. Let's play the whole thing here. Ooh, Shadow's nice. Cool. Oh, I like that ending here. Very neat. Let's see. It's cool. There's a little bit of a hiccup there. Right there. Or maybe it's the head too. It starts already here. Be careful when you have head moves up like that and it comes to a sudden stop just for a little bit. Goes back up there and it's right through there. It's a bit of a bit of a hiccup. Let's play this again. And we're right there. I don't think it's the camera. Let's see the camera. The camera seems pretty smooth. So watch out. It could just be in the head. There's just something right through there. It kind of continues through there where I feel like there's something. I think it's in the head, but there's something that feels like it's just kind of waving boop, boop, right there. That's cool. Definitely not as high as I thought since we're seeing the shadow here. That's cool. I would probably still have some uh, like some stone pieces around here and some sticks or something so you can kind of see the travel. And I know we have this, but just kind of always gives us some interest. So it's not just this gray surface, especially through here. You might even have some cool moments of I'm always a fan of foreground elements where, you know, something else could come by here, even if it's past there. And then you can have something here to balance it out and some things here. I, overall, once you're done, I would probably also take this surface wherever he is not um, landing and moving and just take those vertices and move them a bit so you don't have that super flat CG flat geometry. So you have those cool elements here and you can imagine that the surface is just a bit more irregular. This is super picky, by the way. It just has nothing to do with animation there. Okay, the roar is cool. I think through there, that is my my timer <laughs> i think there's something where once we see these these legs i know this is very presentational where i'm asked i'm asking you to animate something that's technically you don't really need but in terms of i don't know if that's what the creature would do but in terms of visual entertainment and uh again presentational value this is very subjective i would have something where maybe he brings those or it brings those legs together maybe a bit of a curling of these guys there's something that goes on through here and maybe through here as well so they don't feel like they're just parented there and not moving even if it's kind of a, a tightening or an adjustment imagine maybe they're a bit further out and then through here they kind of get a bit more together maybe this one because of the dragon overlap the momentum there and then i will probably take these and from here on they're very slow in their movements i think you can also have a bit a stronger offset. Let's see. I think you have the right one. Yeah, just a tiny bit more. I think it's very cool. Once you get into here, how they're both moving separately and you got this here. I like that the legs are moving here. That's cool. You can probably go a bit further with how close they are together. So you can kind of get more um, in and out just for variety and movement. It's just something that feels just a bit still through this section. You can probably also go potentially slightly lower so it doesn't feel like this is so aligned with that tail. Cool. I'm going to look at the tail later. Looking at the legs here. I know I should be looking at the whole body, but I'm always kind of fascinated by feet and legs and claws. Got cool stuff in there, though. All right. Let's do the the uh, sensible thing of looking at your the main mass and the root. Cool. Oh, here's a bit of a weird thing. Right there. On that drop, I feel like it would drop this way. And then you have a sudden acceleration this way. So it's it's not quite following this line. It's going suddenly to the left. But also accelerating a bit too much. I'll keep this right through there. You can see this. It goes this way. And then this way. There. So I would smooth that out. So it's not this sudden acceleration right there. And suddenly, more screen left. It's cool too. When you do this, you might even have a moment of the roar like this. And then by here, imagine that 
the head could be turned away from us. It's almost like tilting away from us. He also wants to lean into the turn, but again, gives us a change of silhouettes. It's not... It feels like this is in one orientation and then it just kind of stays there. And just again, just for visual interest, you can open and with a little bit of a twist over. That's cool. Watch out the head here. You're right there. Again, it feels like a bit of a fast move up right through there. It goes up and then it kind of stops. And this in real time, beep, right there. It's a bit clunky there. On things like this, which I love, when your head goes up, right there. Don't forget again, same as before, you want a bit of a sideways rotation. Um, so that, you know, that horn would be here and the lower one would be the right one. Screen the left one would be down here. Just so it's not just in one axis. You want to engage all of them for a bit more complexity. And then right through there, be careful. Let's pretend you would want that fast drop for whatever reason, like it has hooks and it's being pulled down in terms of physics being true here. If, even if you change the timing to be smoother, it still has a certain drop here where I would bring that head up here. There's just something where once you're through here, right through there, this whole section with the neck and the head feel like it's one piece of geometry that just kind of drops down with no drag anymore. And I think if you would delay the head, A, you would have a nicer silhouette. You can almost have the chin here. You can almost separate that out with my awesome drawing here. And because the head is a bit higher, it's a nicer negative space and silhouette. And then, boom, and then on that impact, here-ish. So imagine the head would be here, the neck, and the head would be here. Boom, by now you can hit this pose. So that the head drops for it for a, an overlap, an impact, rotation down, and then, and that's cool. During this, I would try to potentially translate that more screen left to, to its right. It feels like if that's the chest, that the head is kind of turned this way doing this. And there's the roar versus chest doing this. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but there's something where I feel like this, this is the head, right? And this is this is your chest where I feel like that chest is here, even though the curvature is like that, as opposed to the chest and head curl this way. So this neck piece out more screen left, which brings the head maybe a bit more here. I'm only saying this just because when you bring that head up here and then over this way, I don't see much in here except a up and down rotation. See that? Just kind of goes down. Actually, it's a, a translate up, but I don't see anything in Y. So the Y rotation is a bit miss, uh, is missing there. But I feel like that head has a bit of a move to its right. So what I'm thinking is that pull that head over, translate it over a bit more screen left. So that imagine again, chest and imagine this is your neck and it did this move right to the right. I will pull this more to the right so that A, it's more angled this way. And because you are pulling this more, you will take the chest in Y rotation there and rotate this over. So this, you would see more of this side here. Hope that makes sense. Translate over, rotate the chest in Y with the neck. I just feel like the neck is doing a lot while the body is basically just rotating down and then translating up. Not quite affected by this. I know there's a long way to go from the head to the chest because there's this whole neck area, but a bit more connective tissue there with that translate over affecting this chest would be cool. Even through here, you could technically bring those legs a bit further down and then by now, right through there, they will get to this so they kind of go back during this section. I'm just trying to make it slightly a bit more interesting visually so it's not just this one piece gliding. Speaking of axes, I feel like that tail is also just mainly going up and down. Whereas here you can kind of push the side to side a bit more. And then you got some moments, be careful. This, I don't, I don't want to say it's all for polish, but as you get into this, when you curl this and then the tail goes down, by now that tail will be a bit lower. There's something where 
the tail goes down and now it's stuck right through there. You can see that rotation just kind of stops. It's kind of frozen there. And going back to the body, which again, I should have said that at the very beginning, I'd always kind of look at details. It's very annoying for people listening. <laughs> so on this here, because that head kind of goes up and stops, you're gonna have to continue going up with that head. And because of that, I will bring up that chest a bit more. Also because of that flat down, there's a bit more of this of an arc, it kind of flat goes up a bit more. Then it can drop into this. And look at this here, you're dropping. And here you're leveling out and already going up. And to me, you'll be dropping, 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 dropping until here. Till the wings are around here. And then that gets the head up and the body up. This is cool right there. This is really cool. I like how your body goes up and it already starts to drop pretty quickly. Like the physics there feel really nice. Right there. And then it really fights to get back up. Yeah, and then it goes back to what I said with the head here. Because you got that high energy of the head going up. And here, I feel like it's really trying to reach up. And you want to bring up that head a bit higher and start a rotation to the side. Just give it kind of that, that try. Zoom. Yeah, and then here, that sudden drop and then sudden move to the left and screen space. Polish stuff, you'd be offsetting wings a bit more. Probably even drag those tips a bit more. And then watch out, they kind of come up and they're kind of stuck there. Or keep going up, overlap those tips there. Yeah, offsetting wings is going to be cool. Get some good drag there. Good drag overlap. That's cool. Yeah, and just tail stuff, which I know you're totally aware. Polish stuff. But through here, because you have so much room, it could be a cool moment of a bit more side to side. So it's not just up and down. Impact tremor on the, on the tail there. It's cool. I'm going to be incredibly picky. See that this spiky thing of the wing, if you could rotate that up so it's more here. <laughs> Basically, so you're mostly like A, separated from this. So this tip will be maybe up here. This is super picky. I'm just looking at tangent moments like that. It also seems to go through the ground too. So either way, you want to go up a bit higher. Just a bit. So it's not that connection there. It's very cool though. Definitely much, much better. And not be careful with moments like this where I would probably from here on with the neck, as it goes up here, you can go, go a bit more in line with the upper body here with the chest area. So you don't have this kink here. So it's a bit hidden in the wings, which is cool. And then through there, I would have that neck a bit lower. So it follows a bit more. And then when you go up, you really have a nice rotation up and a pull. So that when you're here, again, you don't have that kink here. You want your neck to, I wouldn't say full on go up like that. It might be too strong, but definitely a bit more like that. So it kind of goes up like this. The head, it's got a little bit of a line like that. Then you can kind of squint your eyes and it gives you a nice C curve. Right now, this just feels a bit broken there. And then on that impact, I don't know if you have any rotations uh, this way or, or the other way. So it's, and it would be a shake, basically. On the neck area, so imagine it's kind of a neck jiggle for polish. Through there. Even the head would be on that if it's tilted already like this. Boom! On that impact by now-ish or so. You can say that <clears throat> instead of like this, they're already lying like that. It's a bit of a dip this way. Just so you can feel that impact, boom, down, but also sideways, rotation-wise on the head. That's cool. It's a big fan of that. You can almost have a 
and right through there for that last end. One more up to the side. It's kind of a that's a one more thing. But don't really need this. I mean, it's already super cool. It just feels like it's and then he relaxes or it or she. So that's totally up to you. Uh, you can do a and then it stops or you can do a and then one more. Totally up to you. It's very cool though. And then in your polish, you can have a bit of a tongue animation in there, a bit of a shake through there as it all shakes through here. Maybe even a bit of a curved tongue that flattens then through here. So there's some movement in the mouth. And then all of that shakiness you would have it in the tongue as well. Since, let's see here. Yeah, you got stuff in here. And I wonder how far you could go. It's probably enough to go through here with a little bit of jiggle here. I was thinking, oh, maybe there's a tiny bit here and the membranes would shake a bit. I don't think that's too much. I would just concentrate uh, on this section with a little bit of jiggle through here, kind of fanning out that energy. I think that's it. I'm going to let this be like that. You're going to get into all your polish stuff. Uh, but overall, so much better. It's very cool. Yeah, it's really, really neat. So as always, any questions, let me know. You can email me if there's anything that is unclear. Um, and that is it. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.